Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about bug nets. So this is one of the DIY projects that I did for our van. They turned out really great. These nets only take two minutes to put up and put down. The basic idea is that I just got these French door bug nets and then I did some custom modifications to them to make them better for the van. So the solution isn't going to be like airtight, no bugs are getting in, but for how easy and cheap it is, it really keeps the bugs out. All the supplies that I used, I'm gonna list it out and put links to it in the description. First thing that I did was measure the um, openings to the van to make sure that the screens that I got were gonna be big enough. If you have a Ford Transit, you could just order the same ones I did, but if you don't just double check the measurements, make sure that the screen is gonna be a little bit bigger than the actual measurements because with the weird contours of the van, you're gonna need some extra slack. Don't get a screen that exactly fits, get one that's a little bit bigger. So the screen that I ended up getting was 74 inches wide and 81 inches tall. The way that it's designed is that it has Velcro on the sides and Velcro on the top. So the actual screen has some Velcro on it and then it comes with a roll of the other side of the Velcro that's sticky. I took that sticky side and I wrapped it on the sides and the top of the van. So when you open up your doors, you'll see that there's some metal space there. There's kind of like a gap between the door and the van. So it was perfect for that little strip of Velcro. You'll notice that like the parts of the door that actually connect to the van, there's going to have to be a gap where there's no Velcro for the screen to fit to. But as you're putting it on, you can kind of just like add some slack there and then put the Velcro where you can. So then in the center of the screen, it comes with magnets to keep it closed. And then at the bottom, it has a bunch of weights to kind of keep it like hanging there. This is kind of the part that I customized a little bit. I really wanted to make sure that the screen was sticking to the van so that no bugs could fly to, from the bottom up. At first I was thinking maybe I could Velcro the bottom too. Then I'd have to sew Velcro onto the bottom of the screen. And instead what I did was put magnets on the bottom. So it did involve a little bit of sewing, but not a lot. You don't really have to know how to sew to be able to do this. I cut slits and then I slid a magnet through and sewed that slit shut. And then I sewed the other side of the magnet so that it would kind of just stay in place. And I probably put maybe five or six magnets on the bottom. And that way it sticks to the bottom of the van as well. The last modification is in the center where it magnets together so that you can go in and out. I found that those magnets were kind of cheap and after a while they stopped sticking as well. So I decided to sew the very top and the very bottom together. The way that our conversion is set up, we really just need kind of like a small space to crawl in and out. So I sewed the top, sewed the bottom, I took those extra magnets, put them in the middle so that there'd be more magnets in the middle. And then I, I think I also added a couple more just in case to make it extra strong. So now moving on to the side door, I actually used the same size screen. So the 74 by the 81 inches. The only difference is that I put it upside down. So you will see when you open your side door that the very top, there's, there's so much going on that there's limited space. There wasn't much room to put that Velcro strip. So I decided for this one, I'd put the Velcro at the bottom and on the sides, and then for the top, put the magnets there, and then the magnets just stick to the outside of your van. I also sewed the very top, the very bottom, and I put those extra magnets in the middle to make it stronger of a close. Yeah, so then when you're done, you just kind of take it off the Velcro. Um, be careful when you're pulling it off because you might pull that strip of the other side of the Velcro off. So do it with care. And then you fold it up and it's really small. We just put it away in one of our cabinets and it doesn't take up too much space. So let me know if you guys try to recreate this in the comments and feel free to think of ways to make it a little bit better. I, uh, in my window covers video, people were commenting how they improved it. I had some other people like recreate the tutorial. Yeah, it was fun to see how other people made it even better. So definitely let me know if you make them, um, but I hope this helps. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.